Hey, welcome to Chaplain's Corner. Really appreciate you taking the time to be here. Well, hopefully you have already begun to make plans to include some generosity in your holiday celebrations this month. After all, it's not going to happen automatically or by itself. But if you haven't planned to be generous, it's certainly not too late. So here's number seven. Volunteer your time. Charitable and community organizations are often shorthanded during the holidays, but they're probably busier now than any other month of the year. So even a few hours of your time can go a long way in helping. And if your schedule won't allow it, consider making a monetary donation or providing supplies. Number eight, compliment a stranger. This is perhaps one of the best ways to practice generosity for two reasons. First, it costs you absolutely nothing other than a moment or two of your time. And second, it is such a treat to receive a positive comment in an increasingly negative world. A compliment like that will replay over and over in their mind all day and bring a little smile to their face each time. And number nine, nine, <laughs> bless your delivery person. The holiday season can be brutal for folks delivering for the UPS, post office, FedEx, etc. The hours are long, the volume is overwhelming. The weather is often chilly and it gets dark really early. So leave a basket of goodies by your door with items like bottled water, quick snacks to help delivery folks refuel and recharge a little bit. A note or a sign expressing your appreciation for their hard work will really encourage them too. So with December now more than half over, if you can believe it, let's all keep a generous spirit alive. As always, if you need me, you can get a hold of me by email or by calling me absolutely any time. Be well.